this unique name that Jesus uses for the Holy Spirit. Okay, uh, one thing I have to say because this guy doesn't know what he's saying. Okay, the the the, the, the Paraclete uh, is a title. It is not a name. It's not a name. It's a title. Okay, so it's not the name of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has no name because it's, it's a thing, it's the way of thinking of God. So it doesn't have a name. So he, you know, he went on talking, explaining about the courts and the time back then. So he's, he's filling up information, but the, the main message, what he's saying, the logic behind it, there's no logic. What he's saying is not true, it's incorrect. I will send you a defense attorney. Okay, how could how could Jesus say that the Holy Spirit is a defense attorney? How how could he say that? Jesus received the Spirit of God, the way of thinking of God, and that's why you know he spoke the words of God because Jesus wasn't God; he spoke what he heard only. from the revelations that he had from the spirit of God from the way of thinking of God that's what he spoke Jesus is the defense attorney not the way of thinking that he has he is the defense attorney that's why when you read 1 John 2 1 it says we have an advocate we have a defense attorney with the father how could the Holy Spirit be the defense attorney? There's only one mediator. There's only one defense attorney, which is, you know, a prophet, somebody that speaks for God. So everything that he's saying is utter, you know, utter nonsense. Now, why? Why do we need a defense attorney? I mean, mostly we need a defense attorney because number one, we're guilty, we're sinners. Okay, then he's gonna go on with his Christianity nonsense. Let me let me move forward a little bit. I thought, oh, this that's how it was. 